Again, zip -o. <clears throat> I usually don't do unboxings, you guys know that. Uh, but um, I thought, what the heck, I'll be patient enough this time, wait till I can get my camera set up, go ahead and do an unboxing. Um, I know it's in here, uh, it's kind of cool, neat little uh, neck knife. Um, read quite a few reviews about it, uh, wasn't a uh, impulse buy, it was a research buy, so we're going to break out the old uh, case rest lock to open the box. And I've added quite a few knives to my collection here recently, and I need to do an update on that. But, um, anyway, here we go. Let's get this bugger open. I love these rust locks. They're just so cool. Do you love those? Thing of beauty. Anyway, let's get the box open. They uh, ran one piece of tape right across the end here. So that you couldn't flip the flap open. Oh great, popcorn, I love popcorn, not, at least it's not the staticky kind, that stuff's pain, there we go, it's right there on the end, there she is, I'll empty the rest of that out later and make sure that they didn't throw any little surprises in there sometimes, uh, dealers do, just to entice you to return to them. Let's go in the bag in the closet. It's a Secure Guard LCC, Trustville, uh, Alabama. And if I'd have waited, I realized that he had a few other things that I wanted, and I just ordered those. I'll show you guys those. That stuff when it comes in. Uh, some of you might know by the number 02B0270. Now that would be 02B0270. Let's see what we got here. Cool little neck knife. There's a sheath. Kydex. And I've heard tell these Kydex sheaths uh, need to be heated up and refit. They hold really, really, really tight. So, beaded chain. And what do we got here? <laughs> Ta-da! What is it? It's the Boker Plus Gnome, G-N-O-M-E, made in China. You can see right there, China. Boker Plus. All these are numbered. This one's number 1763. Uh, I talked to a guy who had number 11. He was uh, so impressed with him, he bought a bunch of them for uh, um, gifts to people who were not knife people. And... Just turn people into knife people. They thought, wow, that's a really cool little knife. It's not imposing, so it's something to be taken to the office to open envelopes with and whatnot. Uh, it's made out of 12C27 steel. Uh, it's a Vox design knife. Um, you can see the shape of the blade. Kind of nice. Real nice finish. <clears throat> These are micarta scales. They're nicely finished. They're not too grippy, but not too slick. There is red micarta, or is it? It's either micarta or G10 uh, inner scales. See the red in there, kind of cool. But uh, green micarta. Let's see how she fits in the sheath. Yeah, pretty tight. May have to do a little bit of loosening on it, not too much though. But anyway, there she is, folks. There's the unboxing. The uh, little. Boker Gnome, G-N-O-M-E. Neat little knife. Now, Boker's got another version, uh, like a 200, excuse me, like a $200 version. And um, uh, this one was nearly a fraction of that. I paid $26 for it with uh, $5.95 shipping. Um, and that's uh, about average. That's in the average. Uh, for anyone who has a case rust lock, I'll set that down there for comparison so you guys can see and open up the viewfinder a little further. There you go. And I'll get a ruler in there for you. I don't have to be able to read the numbers on it this far away, but we'll see. Right there. She measures just about three and three quarters inches with a blade length, uh, one and seven eighths inches it appears as so. Uh, longer blade than handle. 
um, it's going to take some getting used to as far as uh, um, handling it. But I think I'm going to do what uh, some of the other people have done, and that is, is make a fairly sturdy and tight um, lanyard for it. Uh, I'll tie the lanyard directly onto the handle. That way, um, it'll kind of be a, an extension of the handle. But you've actually got two holes. If you look here, see two holes, and this hole in the back is big. It uh, let's see what it measures here. Opening is. 5 16 7 inch so that's a really big hole you can put I'd, let's see the tether cord 3 30 seconds tether cord I use I can probably put five or six strands in through that hole so I can really make a, a, a tough little lanyard for it but um, anyway that's it this is my unboxing a little long-winded but thought it was worth it this cute little neck knife cute calling a knife cute huh I should be shot. People have been shot for less. All right. Well, this is Zippo. There's the unboxing. You guys, uh, stay tuned. I've uh, kind of got something I want to share, but uh, I'll keep you guys interested. I'm going to wait a while first because um, I'm waiting to get something in the mail. Um, let me grab this piece of card over here. I got a letter in the mail. Uh, earlier this week from MAG Instruments not only from MAG Instruments but from the vice president of the company R what's in this letter is really neat um, so I'm going to share that with you guys uh, in a video as soon as I get uh, a package in the mail I'll uh, share with you what's going on with that but stay tuned for that. Also stay tuned for uh, a knife update. Uh, I've had some people ask to see uh, my whole knife collection. I've got unlimited time. I think I'll do it in two or three parts to keep people's interest instead of doing a real long video because uh, you know, lose people's interest pretty quick. But anyway, this is Zippo. Um, thanks for all the replies and, and for everybody talking about doing their man cave for 2011. Looking forward to seeing those videos when they come out. Um, and don't worry if your spot's just a little little table like this uh, in your bedroom that you tinker on, you know. It, it doesn't take a great amount of space. What gave me this I the idea of the 2011 uh, man cave was uh, a, a young gentleman that I just recently subscribed to. His area is just um, four little uh, stack-on drawers that are opposing one another that have four drawers apiece in them and he keeps all of his knives in there, all of his cleaning equipment, oils and all that stuff in this nice neat little package right beside his bed. That's his man cave. It doesn't have to be anything big or great. You know, I'm, I've, I've got a really big barn. I'm out of space. If all I had was this amount of space, I'd fill it up. Um, but anyway, this is Zippo. I'll catch you all later. I'm out.